This is the uh, fourth and final section of the geometric and negative dis uh, binomial distributions chapter. And here we are just finding the mean and the variance of it. And uh, this is again in the formula book, I believe on page 23. So let's start the mean uh, E of X of our negative binomial distribution is r over p now compare that to the mean and variance of a um, geometric distribution that was one over p wasn't it so if you took that and times it by r you get that and uh, variance that's far x that's equal to r over or r times 1 minus p over p squared and again compare that to the variance of a geometric distribution if you times that by r you get that so maybe if you remember one it can help you remember the other without having to go back to the formula book iona and one one plain noughts and crosses the probability that Iona wins is 0.7. The random variable X represents the number of games they need to play for Iona to win seven times. Find E of X and far X. So let's start with this and let's write down the uh, notation. So this is a, a negative binomial distribution. Uh, the number of successes is seven. She needs to win seven times and the probability of success is 0 0.7. OK, so let's just write over here the formula we are going to use. E of X is R over P. And far X is going to be R times 1 minus P over P squared. All right, so it's just substituting in. Um, R and P. So in this question, R is 7, P is 0.7. So E of X, the mean, is going to be 7 divided by 0.7, which is 10. Don't think I need a calculator uh, for that. And far X. is going to be 7 times 1 minus um, 0.7, that's 0.3. So 7 times by 0.3 divided by 0.7 squared. I think I will need a calculator for that. So 7 times by 0.3 uh, divided by 0.7 squared, which I think is 0.49. And I get 30 over 7, which is exact. I could leave it like that. Or SD, I will get 4.28. Um, 6, I could do. Yeah, I'd, I'd be prone to leave that to 30 over 7 because it's exact. So we've got E of X and we have a var X here. OK, now just before part B, there's some extra or before part B and C is extra information. They change games and start playing chess. The random variable Y represents the number of games they need to play for one to win twice. Given that the mean of Y is six, find one probability of winning, win, winning any single game of chess. Let's start with a notation. Y negative binomial. So for him, it's about winning two games. So two successes, but we don't know his probability of winning. So we'll put two. Um, but we know that. The mean is 6, so we can just use the formula. We know that E of Y equals 
six, that's what we're told. So then we can just substitute into the formula that R over P equals six. So P equals two over six, which is a third. So if you don't get a number less than one for your probability, you know you've done something wrong. Okay. Part C, the standard deviation of Y. Well, now we have P, we can find the standard deviation. So R is um, 2. So far X, sorry, far Y is R, which is 2, times by 1 minus P. So 1 minus a third, or in other words, 2 thirds, divided by P squared. So a third squared. So uh, one minus a third is two thirds. So we've got two times two thirds, basically four thirds at the top. And that is needs to be divided by a third squared, which is a ninth. So I'll just type in a ninth. And I get an answer uh, of 12. That's for var y. Now it's asking for the standard deviation. So it's going to be root 12, which I can leave like that. Or if I want the decimal, square root 12, 2 root 3, if you like, or 3.464, 3.464. Now, these last answers you know, I would um, go for maybe three significant figures. They'll be happy with that on the mark scheme. So 4.29, be happy with that, three significant figures. Or 3.46, again, three significant figures will be fine. So four decimal places for probability. Uh, three significant figures pretty much for everything else. OK, so you should now be able to do exercise 3D on pages 53 to 54. So just for reference here, there's E of X and here's a var X. So you've got these here if you need them to do that exercise.